A four day 27 mile march kicked off in Georgetown this morning. Demonstrators are marching for voting rights, trying to demand federal protections that would stop what they call voter suppression efforts. KVU's Bryce Newberry is live in Williamson County right now here. with those marchers and the message that they're trying to spread. Bryce. Hey Terry, good morning to you. We are out here on about mile seven of this journey. We're kind of in the middle of the group of these marchers. There's some in front of us and plenty behind us. And listen, they were inspired by the 1965 march in Selma, Alabama. So they're marching city to city. We started in Georgetown this morning, going to Austin by Saturday, and they're pushing for reform at the federal level that they say would protect every American's right to vote. So this march, again, started just after seven o'clock this morning at Christ Lutheran Church in Georgetown. And they're moving at a pretty slow pace and law enforcement following along the route with them. Uh, we did talk with some before they got started this morning who say this march is about even more than voter rights. It's about economic justice. It's about social justice. It's about making this democracy work for everybody. The legislation that's coming out of Texas simply says this. Your vote can count to you, but we don't have to count your vote. And not only voices count and votes count, people matter. So this group plans to get to Round Rock today. They'll pick back up again tomorrow. Again, the plan by Saturday is to get to the state capitol in Austin and hold a rally to continue calling for voting rights reform. So this is definitely something to keep in mind throughout your travels. Uh, you can see they're walking on the sidewalk right now, but they have definitely been uh, in some lanes and crossing different uh, intersections where traffic is being stopped. So definitely keep that in mind over the next couple of days. They are asking everyone who participates this weekend to be vaccinated vaccinated and they are also encouraging anyone who's participating in this march and as well as the bigger rally where they're expecting about 10,000 people on Saturday to wear a mask as well. Terry, back to you. Okay, good crowd out there. Uh, Bryce Newberry reporting for us live. This Madame shirt's going to be hot for those folks the next couple of days.